babies are doing good. Yeah, so feed him that little thing there and one in that cap over there and then I give him two different size waterers. It's just what I had, so. But they're all eating and drinking. They just come out at different times. <laughs> huh. They're so cute and so many different colors. Yeah. What baby? What? What are you looking at? See, they're drinking and eating and all doing, dog doing good. Still sleeping a lot. Not as much as before. There's the rest of them. <laughs> Move, don't let me put it down on you. I was just, just checking. I was just checking is all. I was just checking. <laughs> and the old toddlers here doing good. What are you doing up on that water? Huh? Huh? Girl, you need to get down. You need to get down. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? That's the one that walks up to me and she'll let me hold her and everything. Yeah. What are you on the feeders for? <laughs> I do have the heat plate in, in there, but they usually just perch up on it. Let's see. <laughs> they just like sitting on it. Okay. What? <laughs> it tipped over their bowl. I gave them a little grit in there. Yeah. Everybody doing good though. What are you doing? What are you doing up there? Huh? Huh? What are you doing up there? Some of, them, some of them will sleep up there, too. But they're doing good, too. And I've been keeping them. So the ones out in the shed will be going back <clears throat> to the neighbor next weekend. And these, you know, I keep them eight weeks till they're fully feathered and ready to, you know, go into a, another flock. And he holds them all separately. And they'll be donated to the church for the kids there. Um, sometime around Easter. So, but I told him I'd keep them for the eight, first eight weeks. So, they do not go into my permanent flock. <laughs> okay. You girls and boys behave. <laughs> so, these girls and boys are the ones that will be going back to the neighbors next weekend. That'll be eight weeks. There's seven weeks now. Huh? <laughs> I just gave them a little bit of wet feed. They've had their um, or, um grit and their um that finely cracked corn, that real fine pieces. So we'll give them a little, and they're they're good for the rest of the evening. And I just pooper scooped. And put some fresh shavings down where I thinned it out from pooper scooping. And they've got water and they've got enough feed, of course, because once they eat their wet feed, they'll pretty much be done this evening. Huh? What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? <laughs> you can tell that's a cockerel. Look at that comb. See how much bigger it is and it's got color in it. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. I'm not really sure about that black one. Um, 
But I, I think I did wing sex her when she was little. I think that is a pullet. Um, because the comb is really small and it's just not like the other ones. But, you know, I don't know what mixed breed it is. And, you know, sometimes it depends on the breed. Whether you can tell that way, but I'm pretty sure that's a pullet. <laughs> okay, you girls behave. And boys, I'm going in. you be leaving your uh, <laughs> world of uh, spoiledness in about another week. Sorry. Sorry. But you're going to end up on some farms around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just leaving the chick's shed. Chicksville shed. And uh, every time they see me, they, they go wherever I'm at. Frank, you keeping an eye on everybody? Y'all go to bed on time, okay? <laughs> yeah, since they uh, got that window now, I don't, uh, I don't turn the light on. The only time I turn the light on again, if I gotta like get up early for work, I'll turn the light on out there, so I can do what I need to do. Cause sometimes that little head flashlight just don't quite get it. And then sometimes I just don't, but. <laughs> okay, they see I'm not going to bring them nothing. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we just missed that tornado. Went south of us. Yep. All right, well, I'm going in. Frank, get the girls in to bed in time. There's, there's some Morans, one going inside and one over there. They always stay to themselves because the older girls pick on them if they get too close. But they're do everybody's doing good. And Ruger, I don't know if you can see him. He's still way out there. Looks like he's slowly coming in for his hay. <laughs> All right, good night. I ain't coming back out of here now.